Have you ever wondered how they make diabetes in the laboratory? My name is Bowie. I've had type 1 diabetes for over 20 years. I'm healing naturally, and I am so deep in the research. I'm looking to extract every single little thing that I can that isn't quite being shared with my doctor and endocrinologist. And I've read so many different things in papers that got me excited about the prospects for diabetes and the treatment of it that when I went to the doctor and I talked to them about it, they'd look at it and say, mm, well, this one was done in animals. Mm, and the results in animals don't necessarily correlate to humans. So aside from killing my excitement, I wondered why do we do stuff in animals if it doesn't carry over to humans? But then I started to think about, well, what does how we create diabetes in the animals that we study say about our understanding of the disease? And so I did some reading. And there are two substances that are used more than anything else in creating diabetes in lab rats. And those are alloxin and strepsozotocin. Alloxin works by creating a lot of ROS. Strepsozotocin works by disrupting and alkylating DNA strands. So I always wondered... If they can make it in a lab, don't you think that they could reverse engineer it and maybe unmake diabetes? I explore this topic and the prospects for what that means for those reading the research and hoping for better things from it. I may or may not have just uploaded a YouTube video to my channel talking about all those things.